I think it was when we, uh, we had a discussion about what the cost of poverty is uh, in terms of the broader community, in terms of health care, and, uh, and what it's doing to um, our, with, with regards to tax dollars and that type of thing. That was my aha moment, I think, when, when people had mentioned that how much poverty costs all of us. It's not just that it's downtown, it affects us in, in all corners of the, uh, the community, from Ancaster to Stony Creek to the, to the mountain. I think that was, that was my aha moment, I think. I think what needs to happen is we have to, um, it, these issues transcend all organizations and I think there, there's an opportunity here that came out of today is the fact that if we had um, uh, the police chief or the head of the school boards not always talking about budgetary things with, with City Hall and that type of thing but look at a really broad based issue that would positively impact the entire city in terms of uh, eradicating poverty. I think if we had uh, the police chief talking about multi-unit residential and how increasing densities would, would help his, his issues with with mixed developments and having less crime in certain areas, bringing more development to, to areas where we don't see development, increasing densities in, 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 uh, in Ancaster and other uh, areas of the city. I think when people go to council and say, look, this is what we have here. We've got an opportunity to affect positive change throughout the whole community. And by doing so, the byproduct would be, uh, would, would be eradicating poverty or reducing crime or that type of thing. So I think that's where the opportunity is. I think what we found out today was that we all share something in common. And even though it might not directly affect us in our silo, but I think that looking at something a little bit more globally and more on a macro level in the city of Hamilton, instead of looking very strategically at neighborhoods and neighborhood issues, I think if we look at a broader based approach, I think that we'll, we'll, we'll get more buy-in from the general community. I think that uh, I'm a firm believer in WIFM, and if, if the entire community doesn't understand what's in it for them in terms of eradicating poverty, then, then we'll never get that momentum and that grassroots support. So I think it's a combination of leaders speaking on it, but also we need the, the grassroots momentum as well.